Hi there guys and welcome to the first part of our making of toxic video series. Today we are going to look at um, the movement model that we've been working on for quite some time now and we feel quite happy with it in its current state so this is probably a good time to show it off in action. When you start to work on an arena FPS, you can't really design maps, weapons or pretty much anything else without having the movement set in stone first. This means before the first line of code was written, we already gave it quite a bit of brain to think about what movement model we really want for the game. Um, so staying true to our back to the roots approach, we wanted something really fast, but which would also allow for some nice trick jumping and uh, something in the lines of easy to learn, hard to master, with a true old school vibe to it. With all these requirements in mind, we decided to pick a dodge and double jump based movement model, pretty much like what you experience in UT 2003 or 2004, uh, but of course with a couple of modifications done to it. Okay, that's enough theory, I guess. Uh, let's see how this works in action. Let's just start with the standard movement stuff. The stuff that you probably figure out yourself the first 30 seconds after you've entered the game. Toxic features a fully configurable keyboard layout, uh, but in its standard WASD configuration, you press uh, W to move forward, S to move backwards, A to strafe to the left, and D to strafe to the right. Pretty standard. You may have noticed that you're going pretty fast and toxic, especially when compared to uh, modern military shooters. So no need to press uh, the shift key anymore, the sprint key, because in toxic you're basically always sprinting. Um, but what happens if you, if you press the shift key in toxic? It actually slows you down. Yeah, so you may ask yourself, what the hell is that good for? And the answer is nothing. <laughs> no, no, not really. Um, it actually is quite useful if you want to go silently. So, like, if you if you want to approach a sniper and you know his position, probably sneak up on, on him and you don't want him to hear your footsteps. So that's why you use the shift key. Um, you could probably also just crouch to have the same effect. But yeah, that just doesn't look as cool. Uh, what else? Uh, that's um, we have the the jump, jump the standard jump on space. I I, I don't think I need to explain what, what that oh. is good for. So and that pretty much completes the very basic, very standard stuff that you uh, pretty much have on every shooter. Um, so let's move forward to the to the specialties of Toxic. The first special move you may want to learn is the so-called double jump. Um, it'll make you jump higher and wider, and it's very easy to perform. Uh, you simply need to press space around the peak of your first jump, and it'll get you an overall extended jump. This may come in handy when you need to cover longer distances with a single jump, but um, it's nothing compared to the jumps that you'll learn in the advanced movement section of this video. The last basic move we are going to look at is uh, the dodge. Um, it's also really easy to perform. Simply hit any direction key twice to dodge into that direction. It's really useful to quickly avoid any projectiles flying towards you. Yeah, so that covers up all the basic movement there is in Toxic. Uh, now let's move on to the more advanced stuff, where we learn how to effectively combine the basic moves to go faster, jump even wider and do some nice trick jumping. When looking at the advanced movement, uh, it's important to know that it's all just um, a combination of what I just showed in the basic movement section, especially the dodge jump and the double jump. So let's do some speed test comparisons. We want to move from this lantern um, to the plaza at the end of uh, this corridor and we're going to start at 250. In this first trial we'll go by running only. The counter hit uh, 244, so it took me 6 seconds to cover the distance. Let's see if we can speed this up by adding in some standard and double jumps. Um, we'll go from this lantern again and start at 230.
no, this didn't really help. It was six seconds again. So what can we do to move even faster in Toxic? Um, the secret really is in combining the dodge and the double jump effectively. So the basic movements we learned in the first part of this video. And um, I'm going to show you how fast we can actually go down this corridor. We'll start at two minutes flat and go with uh, two dodge and double jumps in short succession. And as you can see, it only took me four seconds to um, cover the distance. The dodge and double jump combination really is the bread and butter speed movement in Toxic. Um, you really want to learn how, how to do that to, um, to either catch up on your opponents or to quickly get away from them. And of course also to move uh, through maps effectively. Remember when I said that the double jump doesn't really help you to cover long distances? Um, I wasn't kidding about that, so... Um, for example, if you're trying to cover a really large distance, like let's say from here to over there, um, the double jump just gets you up to here, uh, which isn't very helpful, of course. So let's try the dodge and double jump combination. Not very successful, neither. Um, okay, so we need to look for something different here. What you want to do is jump to this wall and then dodge away from it. So this way you can cover a really long distance. And this map doesn't really support this or require it, but there will be maps where you need to cover distances that way. So just let's do it again. Um, jump to the wall and then dodge away from it really quickly. And um, yeah, and you, you may also, and what I did here was I appended also um, a double jump at the end of the dodge. So this is a pretty important move, and once you got the basic dodge move covered, this is uh, probably the second thing you want to want to look into. There might be some situations where you um, require a little extra boost for your jumps, like for example when you want to jump up here. It's quite clear that you can't make it with a double jump or with a double dodge jump combo. So the solution is. Simply fire a rocket in the ground the moment you jump. You actually jump a little earlier and then fire the rocket, but it's almost simultaneously. So let's just do it again. You jump, fire, and you're there. It's as easy as that, but keep in mind that it takes a little health uh, to perform this jump, so you may want to use it with caution. I'd like to show you another um, dodge and double jump combination here. Let's say we want to move up here. And, um, well, the ramp looks a little steep, so we probably first would try to jump on the container and then give it another jump. Okay, that doesn't work. So let's try something different. What we need to do is stand close to the ramp, perform a dodge and append a jump to it. Um, this way we'll push ourselves up from the ramp. It's really easy to perform and uh, it doesn't really matter if you're looking straight at the, at the ramp or if it's, for example, left to you. Just do the dodge, the double jump and you're up here. It's as easy as that. So there is actually a lot more to Toxic's movement model than what we could show in this short video. Like for example the jump pads. Elevator jumps that uh, sometimes get you to hidden locations where you can find special pickups. Jetpacks. Jetpack ready. And just a lot of other stuff that we want you to find out yourself in the game. We 
hope that you enjoyed the first part of our making of toxic video series um take care uh visit us at toxic.com and let us know what you think on our community forum